Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech, and in this video, I'm taking a look at this scooter from High Boy. This is the High Boy S2 scooter, and it is pretty cool. Now, this is primarily a foldable and portable daily commuter. Um, type of scooter, right? So it would be ideal for those that are maybe going to school, uh, if you're commuting to a local school or you're on a college campus and you need to kind of go across campus, things like that, or you commute down to a city and you need to take a, a you know, a scooter from your train to the office and, and that sort of thing. Uh, this is primarily where the scooter will be very useful, right? Because it is fairly lightweight, um, comes in around 30, 35 pounds. It does fold up, so it shouldn't be too hard to carry around or, or just kind of store when you get to your location. And overall, this is a pretty good range, right? It has about a max range of 17 miles and at a max speed of 18.6 miles per hour, can climb a 15 degree grade. Charge time is about three to five hours. It has e-braking and disc braking. LED lights, as you can see here, tail lights, side lights, front light. Uh, it does have rear suspension, uh, but it does not have front suspension, okay? Um, but the nice thing is it also does not have air-filled tires. This, is, this has eight and a half inch honeycomb tires, so you shouldn't have to worry about getting a flat tire or dealing with you know low air and, and that sort of thing. So it might be a slightly rougher ride, but it's a little bit more durable from that perspective. Uh, the front hub mounted motor is a 350 watt motor. The battery is 36 volts, seven and a half amp hours. And uh, yeah, a max, max load on this of a payload from a, a person perspective of 220 pounds. Now I, I weigh a little bit more than 220 pounds. So when I do the testing, I'll let you know how that kind of works out from a top speed and, and possibly range perspective, right? Because, you know, going over the, uh, the, um, kind of recommended weight, you know, may affect some of those types of uh, the performance of the of the scooter. Uh, this also has an app, so you can download the High Boy S2 app on your phone, on your iPhone or Android, and then you can do things like lock the scooter, customize the speed and cruise control, um, switch the riding mode from regular to sport. You can tweak the custom acceleration and the brake response and all of that, all from the app, which is really pretty cool. This is the first scooter I've tested that has um, has the features that you can control via the app. And then this is where you plug it in, uh, the charging brick to, to charge it, as well as the clip on the top of the handlebar that latches back to the back of the uh, scooter by the back wheel. Now, right as we speak, this is running around $300 on High Boy's website. I don't know if that's going to change. It looks like it's on sale now, but I have seen this fluctuate kind of up and down a little bit over the past uh, couple months. So you'll have to see, you know, whenever you're watching this, I don't know when you'll be watching this, if it's, you know, now or, or sometime in the future, the, the price might be different. But I just want to show this really quick. And then what I'm going to do is kind of go out and do some recording with the scooter. So riding the scooter around, uh, get some outside footage of it and all of that, and then kind of give you some of my feedback and thoughts as I'm riding it or as I'm testing it out. And uh, you know, do that on the second part of this video. So let's hop on over and check it out. So as you can see here, I did go to a local park where there was a parking lot that's kind of closed for the winter time. And I brought my son along and he'll, he's gonna actually do some riding so I can film uh, as he's riding around. But again, this is the scooter here in the daylight. As you can see, it's a nice looking scooter. You know, your typical kind of commuting based scooter. Uh, you can turn it on there, change modes and all of that using the, uh, the button or the application. And as a reminder, the brake lights do work when you pull on the brake handle or you press the e-brake button, which is the little red button on the handlebar. As I had mentioned when I unboxed it, this is the latch that kind of pops up when you fold the handlebar down so you can latch it. Kickstand is right there. It's a nice kickstand. Has a little bit of a shock absorbing uh, you know, ability and the rest of it, right? So very slim, very nice looking. 
scooter. Now you can see uh, the lights here. So this has the running lights on the sides. Uh, it also has the, the headlight in the front that's a little bit hard to see in the sun. But uh, yeah, the running lights, the backlight runs, you know, as you would expect for nighttime driving to kind of make others aware that their scooter, uh, you know, is riding around. And it's hard to see there, but the front light is on. And here my son is just kind of going slow around. At this point, I think it was still in uh, the the mode where it had a cruise control, right? So it was set at around 10 miles an hour here. So not too fast. After he did this initial riding, I actually made it a change in the settings so that it would go to the full speed of, of 19 miles an hour. But overall, it was very comfortable. Uh, the tires worked pretty well, even right. though there were like sticks and rocks and stuff like that, as you can see on the road. And then I took it for a little bit of a spin. Now this is a little bit uh, hard to do. I should have had my GoPro that I could attach to my uh, my chest or something, but I was just using my phone as I was driving one-handed, which I would not suggest that you do. Uh, but I was just kind of going around 12 miles an hour, 13, 14 miles an hour, just to kind of uh, test it out myself. And then here, Again, my son coming back and he's going pretty quick. What does the speedometer say? Now here my son did come back and he was going through the grass and it was a mistake, I think, because the ground is still a little does bit mushy and good? wet here. So it immediately slowed down and that was struggling to to go through this um <laughs> just the motor just couldn't pull it through um this kind of mushy ground area okay yeah so, so that wasn't the best idea like just because it did have a hard time with the single but, front yeah, motor we'll, we'll like driving in an off-road situation yeah. but on so, pavement yeah, and normal off. sidewalks and things like that i don't think you'll have any issue it it, it, with this at all So overall, as you can see, the scooter is really pretty cool. Uh, it would do a good job in commuting situations, I believe. It was pretty lightweight to carry with and set up when we were went to the, to the park to kind of drive it around. And it's adequate speed for commuting, I guess, right? Like topping out 18, 19, 20 miles an hour is what we saw. And uh, from that perspective, it seems like it would work pretty well. Uh, we were driving around for quite a bit, and we only lost about 10% in the total range. It does have an application, an app that you can connect as well, which is kind of cool. So you can monitor different things and change your settings using the app over Bluetooth. So all in all, there's a lot of value, I think, packed into this device. If you have any questions, go ahead and post those below, and I'll be happy to answer. I'll also link to this in the description with more information on how you can check it out and how you can purchase it. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.